What is up, my athletes? Before you guys uh, exit out of this video, thinking it's a clickbait, I uh, just want to let you know that it's not. Michael B. Jordan talks about in this interview about how he worked out for, he said two to three times a day for about a year before the movie Creed. He also said he ate broccoli, uh, brown rice, and chicken. That's all he ate, and he drank a lot of water. It was perfect for me because I was, my body plateaued. I stayed at like 196. You know, I was working out, I was eating fairly right, but like my body, like I wasn't losing any weight, I wasn't gaining any weight. So it was a bit of a frustration period. After I saw this video and I was like, yo, I should probably try it out. So I started working out, as you guys can see, uh, my older videos when I, you know, broke out of the plateau phase, I started working out like Michael B. Jordan. I worked out three to four times a day um, for three weeks and I saw ridiculous, ridiculous results. And now I'm gonna show you guys the interview that uh, where he talks about it so you guys could you know know that I'm not you know clickbaiting anyone. Stay tuned. I started training about a year before we started filming. You had to bulk up 24 pounds, I heard. 24 right? pounds of muscle. A lot yeah. of protein? Uh, tons. I mean, uh, just chicken, broccoli, brown rice, gallon and a half of water a day, and just just doing that consistently. Brown rice, grilled chicken, broccoli, a gallon and a half of water a day, mm -hmm. and working out two to three times a day, six days a week for about a year and a half. And wow. then your body will change. It, wow. It will, it, will, it will definitely change. That's crazy. And that, that's basically what I've been preaching my whole transformation. If you're basically consistent, that's what he said. If you're consistent with uh, your, your eating diet, your eating habits, I mean, I should say, and your workouts, your, like your body will change. That's something I've been preaching and that's something I understood before I started my workout uh, transformation. He used broccoli, he used brown rice, and he used like chicken. I used um, fish, I used uh, broccoli, and then um, I also use uh, quinoa because uh, I want to cut down fast. As you guys can see, like that, that definitely, that definitely worked for me. So here's a picture of me right before I started this uh, new routine. I got up to 203 after letting myself go for like a day or maybe two days, I think. Um, I knew I was about to get into this routine, so I was, took a day off just to get ready for it, prepare for it, because um, it's hard, but it's definitely worth it. The third week, the last week of breaking out of my plateau phase, I was able to hit my goal. I hit my weight goal just by changing um, the amount of times I worked out. Like, I really, really stuck to my diet. I literally did everything that Michael B. Jordan said. I got down to 187, my weight goal, and I lost 16 pounds in three weeks just by being really consistent like he did. The results are crazy, as you know, as you guys can see. And now we're gonna talk about what it takes to get these results. For everyone who's been hitting me up on Instagram, um, I've been telling you guys, and for those of you who are watching, it's extremely simple. You just need to create a workout plan, create a diet plan, and literally be as consistent as you can be. be be so consistent to the point where it changes to a lifestyle because that's what happens. It doesn't become, you know, something you do every two. No, it becomes a lifestyle. And that's how you got to live for the next, you know, couple of months or a year. You know, Michael B. Jordan said he did this for a year before they filmed the movie. Your, your body will change. You will, you will see results. But you just have to keep going because the days that you don't feel like going are the days where you need to push yourself because those are the days that are going to define you. Those days where your body's sore, your body's aching, you're sick, you have a mean headache, you need to stick on schedule because the minute you stop, everything goes downhill from there. Everything. And you guys can, you know, this is, this is exactly what he says. Exactly what he says. And it's crazy because when I was watching this video, I was like, wow, like, you know, we literally have the same mindset. We literally went through the same thing to get to where we wanted to be. So it's crazy. When, when we finished you know, the boxing sequence, you know, all the fighting, I mean, I was exhausted. I was done, like physically, like tapped out to the point where like, you know, I couldn't get up the next morning and come into work and I had to film. And you know, for me, you know, it's, it's no days off. You know what I mean? I'm like, nah, I gotta get up, I gotta, I gotta work. But I literally physically couldn't get out of bed. And I got a call from Sly or whatever. He basically said, you know, told me that he did the exact same thing. After he finished his fight sequence, his body just quit on him. It's like, it's like the mental strength just to just cross that, really that finish sick. line. And as soon as you finish, like, okay, mission completed. And your body's like, all right, I got you get the left. flu. Yeah. You feel, oh, yeah. And it kind of gave me that, you know, that motivation. You know, like, it was comforting to know, you know, to hear from you know, the man himself that, like, what I was going through was completely normal. That's. I mean, you heard it from the man himself. I'll definitely leave the link to the video, uh, to the interview down below so you guys can uh, watch it if you guys want to see it for yourself. But I'm a big fan of Michael B. Jordan. My favorite movie, if you know me, are the Creed movies. 
Um, so, I mean, if you haven't seen them, I would definitely check them out because they're definitely motivational and they, they will definitely like motivate you and push you and inspire you to go out there and just do what you want to do uh, with your body or whatever. Thanks for watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Make sure you guys subscribe. And hey, man, push yourself. That's all you got to do with anything in life. Just got to push yourself. We out. No man should be able to fight through that beating, but Adonis Creed. What's your name? Creed. What's your name? Creed.